Hang on, hang on. Yes, I think we're in business in just a second. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to our closing session for the Innovation and in Interpreting Summit. Wow, what an incredible last three days. We are just delighted, really over the moon, about how it went. Uh, so boy, oh boy, what an incredible time. Before we get into all of the great details we've got for today, including the winners of our prizes and what comes next, I wanted to mention that this session is being live streamed to YouTube, but we already see there's an incredible conversation going on there. We're going to try to make it interactive too with plenty of questions as we go along, so keep it up. Uh, this session has live English captions and we'd like to thank our captioner, Norma, for her wonderful work over the course of the last three days. Thank you to you, four days in fact, thank you to you and to Julia for your work. I'd also like to welcome the people who are watching the replay. Welcome, it's great to see you all here. Uh, we know that the Tech Forward community spans the globe and uh, so half of you are probably sleeping right now. Others are probably in the booth or on assignment or who knows what, but we know you'll be watching later and a warm welcome to you all. This session will be available to everyone who attended the summit for free moving forwards. So uh, I think that's all of the introductions. Hey, Alex, how's it going? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> no, no, I think we're good so far. This was a little, uh, a little bit of a last minute excitement because of course, during a, a tech summit, there will be tech issues here and there. And we've had some of those along the way and just now with the streaming to YouTube as well. But here we are. And yes, we're very excited to cap off the summit with this um, final live session. We just had a great, great panel. Uh, about the next frontiers in interpreting technology. So I think that was also a great thing to have on this final day. Um, of course, uh, the on-demand presentations are still available for a while, so you can still check those out. Maybe once we're done here, uh, because we have some very interesting content prepared for you. But I think uh, maybe it's a good time for the two of us to look back as well, Josh, not just at the tech issues we've had along the way and uh, all the emails we were answering and the requests. But um, first of all, I want to say how overwhelmed I was by the, the great feedback we got from all of you uh, in our summit community on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn. That's where I hang out <laughs> most of the time, but I'm sure it was similar on Facebook and Instagram and the, the other platforms. So thank you so much for your, yeah, just for the outpour of Terp love and all the enthusiasm uh, you've shown to us and to our wonderful speakers and panelists. And I think this is maybe a good moment to also um, give them a shout out. So thanks to all our wonderful speakers and panelists. Some of them are joining us for this session right now. So shout out to you as well and a big thank you once again. And we have learned so, so much from from all the speakers and panelists um, about all kinds of things, Josh. And uh, of course, the big topic these days, I mean, what else could it be but remote simultaneous interpreting RSI. So we heard loads and loads um, about the different tech involved, the audio gear, we talked about webcams and green screens and the hardware that you may need and use for this kind of purpose. Um, just in this last panel, actually, we had a very uh, interesting discussion about booth mates, virtual and physical booth mates. Can Kai tools, interpreting technology tools, maybe replace booth mates altogether? Are they maybe more reliable? And oh boy, you know, there was lots of food for thought in there um, that will keep my gears churning for a little bit longer as well. Um, we uh, talked about good sound as well. Um, that was sort of one of the topics that was near and dear to my heart and to Naomi's as well. Uh, that was actually one of our most popular sessions as well. So a big thank you to Naomi as well and for organizing that extra live Q&A that we did um, as well. Uh, we talked about improving retour with technology, a lot of training aspects as well, which was um, fantastic. Um, Josh, do, would you want to continue this long line of interesting topics that we've gotten to? Boy, oh boy, there were so many interesting things that we covered. Uh, we heard from Julia about social media. 
we heard from uh, me and from Elizabeth about terminology management, terminology extraction. We Today's presentations, if you haven't seen them yet, go into the most cutting edge things, things like machine learning, uh, speech recognition tools, the artificial booth mate, uh, using a tablet for interpreting. There were just so many incredible presentations. So, I mean, I don't even know if I have a favorite, but we wanted to ask you right now. We don't now, really have favorites here, do we? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Uh, but we wanted to ask you to use that chat box right now and tell us which was your favorite presentation or panel actually over the course of the last four days because uh, we had four great panels, one on new developments in sign language interpreting and technology, uh, one on remote interpreting, one on technology and training. So that was especially near and dear to my heart as a, an educator myself. You really enjoyed and, that one, yeah. I, of course I did. And the, well, I think I enjoyed them all. And of course, our, but this our, one in particular, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I've let the cat out of, out of the bag. You know which one my favorite was. And finally, the one that we just had today. So uh, we're seeing some uh, comments coming in about your favorites uh, over the course of these uh, times, state-of-the-art panels I'm seeing, and people are really excited about everything that we covered. So maybe we could share a few statistics about this summit yeah. before we dive into the details about what comes next, right, Alex? Yeah, exactly, because I was just gonna say one of the wonderful things about hosting the summit and hopefully attending the summit was that we got to meet colleagues from really all over the globe. I mean, when we look at our statistics and also just at the interactions that we have on social media and in our online summit community, we see that you are joining us from all over the place, which is fantastic. Um, and you'll be glad to know that you that there are almost six thousand uh, tech summit um, innovation in interpreting summit attendees out there almost six thousand which completely blows my mind. Um, on YouTube alone, we've had for all the public videos, i.e. for the panel um, discussions um, and for the on-demand presentations, we've had almost 10,000 views of our public videos on YouTube, which is <laughs> insane numbers. And we've had, we've had roughly 14,000 unique visitors to our website this week, which are just staggering numbers. And um, just to sh uh, just to say that uh, you have been very active as well because we've had over 5500 uh, worksheets that you downloaded so congrats for not just you know soaking up all the information but for also taking action and we've seen that also during our co-working sessions for example so you went there and you immediately took up things and and took action and implemented them straight away which was fantastic to see. So if you feel like it, why not use the chat right now to share your biggest takeaway or something that you've already started doing, something that you were able to implement and apply straight away. We'd like to know about that. So feel free to share that. Um, in the So that's probably enough about looking back because we want to look forward as well. It's all about the future here as well. Um, so we will in this session talk about how you can stay in touch with us and with the entire community. We will share a few tips on how you can make the most of the power pack, whether you've already picked it up or whether you're still on the fence, maybe. Um, we will share with you what comes next for Tech Forward. That's going to be exciting. Um, how you can give us feedback on the summit, because of course, we're very much interested in your feedback, positive and negative. What can we improve? Should there be uh, another one of these summit? I, I don't want to promise anything. <laughs> this was a huge thing. Um, and of course, we have a prize drawing come up, which will be interesting because, because we have lots of prizes still um, to give out to you, maybe. Um, first of all, in, in terms of feedback, uh, maybe, Josh, we can talk a little bit about the format. Um, I think we've explained the motivation uh, in our kickoff call and before that as well, why we have a combination of on-demand presentations and live events. First of all, since you are really a global community, there's lots of different time zones involved, which you know I still don't really get time zones, but here we are. Uh, we decided to have these on-demand sessions available for 24 hours so you can fit them in whenever you have time, so you don't have to rush to a live event. But of course, the live events are also part of these sort of big events of summits. It's it's nice to be there at the same time with lots of other people, like right now, for example. So that was our thinking why we wanted to have a combination of both and then the community that is sort of the glue that holds it all together. If you share that opinion, 
uh, that's great. If you have other ideas, we also want to hear about that. So let us know how well that worked for you, or maybe not. We're really uh, interested in your opinion. And just to say that our community, the Summit community, will stay online for a little bit longer until March the 3rd. So if you still have a few messages in there, a few conversations that you want to wrap up, things that you want to get to, you still have a few days time to get there. Um, and Josh is already showing, uh, sharing his screen uh, right now. So maybe he wants to give us uh, uh, some more information on how you can make the best of the remaining days in the community to do whatever it is you want you to do. I did. Thanks, Alex. So I think many of you are now familiar with this community. You've been here many times. We've had 784 people join the community over the course of the last week, a uh, couple weeks actually. Of course, it was possible to follow the summit without coming to the community, but hundreds and hundreds of you were here engaging, and that's pretty incredible. So you might be wondering, how can you stay in touch with the people that you've met over the course of the last few days. Some of you have already exchanged emails during our co-working and our networking sessions, uh, but there might be people that you met over the course of the last few weeks that you want to be able to reach out to, to contact moving forward. It's really easy to do with the platform that we're using for our summit for our community. Uh, this is the water cooler page. And from here, you can see it says post 49 posts. It's pretty incredible. And then members. If you click on members, you will see list of all of the people who are here. You can see plenty of people added photos and information and so on. And if you want to reach out to somebody, you can simply find them. You can use the search feature right here to search for somebody. You can see the kinds of things that I search for. I'm just going to look for Roxanne. And then I could send Roxanne a message like so. And voila, I would send her a note. And it's that easy. And then you can just go right back to the rest of the community. If you have a note, it'll pop up in the upper right hand corner. So that's a way for you to see incoming messages as they're coming in and people's email addresses are often also listed here, depending if not, you might just see message. And in that case, you can write them a message and ask them for their email address. So that was what we wanted to say about this community space that we set up for the summit. And again, this will be available until March 3rd. Now, March 3rd is a big day. It is the day, the last day that you can purchase the Power Pack, but it's also a special day for our Tech Forward Insiders community, which we'll be getting to in just a minute. But before we go uh, there and start talking about that aspect of what we're doing, I thought maybe I'd say just for a second how you can make the most of the Power Pack. First of all, we're really excited. We know tons of you have picked it up. We've seen you in the live sessions. We've um, seen you interacting in our private uh, space that we have for the Power Pack. And we know just how busy interpreters can be. Uh, I've gotten so many messages over the course of the last three days from people saying, you know, I missed the sessions. I missed the live session because I was teaching or because I was interpreting or because many other reasons, of course. And, and um, the great news people were saying is that I have the power pack so I can check it out later. Several of you have asked us for how long is the power pack uh, granting you access to the contents? And the answer is 12 months, a year, which should be more than enough time to actually start taking action. We think the power pack is also worth it because it's an investment. It's an investment in yourself and also staying sane. This summit has been a bit overwhelming at times with all of the contents. And it was probably incredibly crazy to try to catch everything as you were going along. There's just so much in there. And in fact, speaking of what's in there, I thought maybe I would show everyone briefly what the power pack looks like. The people who already have the power pack will have seen this. Some of you maybe not because some of you were busy over the last three days, but this is your home page for the power pack. The power pack is hosted on our online learning platform, the Tech Forward online learning platform where we have all of our courses. And so that's why it says course curriculum, start next lecture and so on. 
you can see how we've organized the power pack. Here's the kickoff call. And then we have all of the sessions from day one, including Naomi's bonus live Q&A, which is already available here, all of the on-demand presentations and the panel discussions. One quick comment about those. You've noticed that we had captions for all of the on-demand presentations. The captions are being produced as we speak. We're cleaning up the, on -demand, uh, the live captions and we'll add them to the power pack for accessibility purposes and probably throw in a transcript for those as well. And speaking of what's in these sessions, maybe I'll just show you one so you see all of the great stuff in there. So here's Roni's talk. I just picked one at random. Uh, you can see here's his video. We've got closed captions right here, which you can turn on to watch the captions. The worksheet is available right there. And Josh, people can also search in the video, which is fantastic to find something that maybe you remember there was something about X or Y and you want to get back to that. I think that's very useful. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool feature, absolutely. I was going to say you can also search in the transcript, which is down here at the bottom. You can download it. I won't do that right now, but you can download it. Those are available for you, all of the transcripts for all of the sessions. Uh, you can also get the slides for any presenter who has sent in slides. Some people didn't work with slides. I don't really like to work with slides, so there's no slides for my presentation. Uh, but for the people who did have slides, they're there. And we also have the MP3 files right here, so you can listen on the go. And we are working on putting these together into one single file, a zip file that you'll be able to download and grab to make it even easier to listen while you're out and about, re-listen to sessions, and catch up on those. Now, you can see once I go into a lesson, I've got the navigation bar on the left. I can see everything from day two, everything from day three, and all of these incredible speaker bonuses. Alex, do you want to say a word about the speaker bonuses, maybe? Sure, absolutely. Um, because uh, this is actually, well, yeah, it's a bonus, obviously, but there's lots of really, really good uh, material in there and, and very different kinds of things. I mean, there are, uh, there's sort of educational material, for example. So of course, we uh, have chipped in as well, uh, like our tablet interpreting manual, uh, which I'm still very proud of. Um, we will also give you one month in the Insiders community. More on that in just a minute. Here's a bit of foreshadowing. Um, and then we have bonus material from Tony. So great tips on negotiating, protecting yourself in uh, remote interpreting assignments. We have lots of good stuff from my good friend Jonathan Downey um, about public speaking, for example, which is very, very good skill for interpreters to have. And also um, information um, on how to brief interpreters and how to purchase interpreting services. Um, Andy Gillies has negotiated with his uh, publisher uh, and made it possible to have uh, one chapter of his book about advanced preparation techniques. We have Sophie's Retour um, membership, a sampler that you can get. Uh, we have uh, marketing material from Julia uh, Poga and um, the, the, from the Know Your Worth program, which uh, you may have heard of, of course. It's a very famous course. Uh, we also have a, good, a, a great contribution from Bianca, who was just on the panel before this about creating a glossaries with Interpret Bank. So that's probably a good follow-up uh, from um, Josh's presentation, of course. Then from Elizabeth Daisel, an overview of interpreting technologies, which is also very, very useful. Uh, from our good friend Beatrice, um, uh, a collection of role plays. And I've seen some very good reactions from people who do interpreting training, uh, that they want to use this for their teaching. And lastly, a bonus from Naomi Bowman about the audio gear for remote interpreting, the best audio, audio gear. So also that's a great complement to the session and the presentation and the live Q&A that uh, Naomi has done during this summit. So you see, um, it's a really, really great package, the power pack and definitely worth getting it. So I think we've tried to calculate the total value. It's something in the 2,500 euro range. Um, so it's amazing. It's, even for people who don't do math like me, it's a fairly <laughs> simple thing to be very honest. Um, and you know, you have plenty of time to get to all the bits in there without any time pressure. Uh, and Josh, I think the power pack's still available for a couple of days, isn't it? 
It is indeed. The power pack is available until March 3rd, that date we told you to remember. And also I wanted to mention, several people wrote us to say, well, the power pack's on the expensive side for me right now. I can't really pay for it all this month. Would it be possible to set up a payment plan? So we've made that possible. If you wish, uh, you can, when you check out, you can uh, get the power pack um, half this month, half next month. We've just split it evenly there. So um, as, as per your request, that possibility is also available. Maybe just an interactive moment. If you have the power pack, why don't you tell us what your favorite resource is uh, in the chat right now. Now, I know it probably was impossible to go through them during the summit, but we had those resources posted one, two, three weeks in advance. So some people had a chance to go through some of them. If not, you can tell us what resource you might be interested in, what seems especially intriguing uh, from the Power Pack. Now, just um, a few more words about the Power Pack. We told you in our opening call that we, we really wanted to encourage you not to try to go to every single session and every panel every day. There's just so much content to take in. Uh, and so the Power Pack is a really great opportunity to focus on your own education, focus on your own learning, to be able to go back through all of those materials, listen to that presentation again, check out the transcript, uh, search in it, as Alex was saying. And one thing that we always say at Tech Forward is it, it can seem really overwhelming. Alex and I love to geek out about the <laughs> most cutting edge stuff yes. that's out there. But boy, oh boy, there's a lot to learn. And how can you possibly learn it in a three-day summit? The answer, of course, is that you can't. You don't. <laughs> you can walk away with some ideas, some things. Oh, Julia had that great presentation. Oh, I loved what Bea said. I'd love to, you know, I'd love to try working with an online practice buddy, like Daniele was saying. But then how do you actually do that? Uh, this is a great way to turn to the materials whenever you need, rewatch presentations, keep working on those skills as you're going along. So enough about the power pack. Uh, we're seeing some great feedback uh, from people and we've seen plenty of great feedback from people about that. But I think it's time to, to talk about other ways that you can keep learning with us over the course of the uh, months and years to come. And, and you, you know- You could say we're giving people the inside scoop, right? Oh, you went there. I went there. <laughs> I'm a dad, I get to make the dad jokes. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, yes, uh, sorry, I did want to steal the, the word from you, but You've stolen my thunder. No, I'm stuck with it, so sorry about that. I just couldn't hold it back. <laughs> but um, as some have already mentioned in the chat, I saw that we we have, uh, is it a, does it still count as a surprise? Definitely, it's a it's a big announcement for us. It's the the next big step is the Tech Forward Insiders program. Uh, and what we want to do uh, for the rest of this session, well, before we come to the to the prize draws and the winners, of course, is to give you the inside scoop. So I went there again. Uh, there it is <laughs> about the Tech Forward Insiders um, program. So um, what we want to show you, for example, maybe Josh, you can share the screen while I keep going here, um, what that whole thing looks like, um, the Tech Forward Insiders program. I will also put the link into the chat so you can look at it on your own computer. Um, let me just add the full link so you can also click it. Here we go. And this is it. This is the Tech Forward Insiders program. This is our next big project, I think, after this uh, summit. As um, if we needed another big project. We definitely need more projects, <laughs> absolutely. And you may be wondering why, what, what is it, why? why? Uh, it's basically a membership program and we'll explain to you how we could, how we came to the decision to, to do this. Um, now, you know, we did a lot of free webinars. Uh, last year we did webinars before that, but last year was definitely the big year of webinars here at Tech Forward due uh, to the pandemic. 
uh, and just a huge need uh, and demand for information, practical information about interpreting technology. And that's how we started that whole thing. Then, of course, we added blog posts later on. We then uh, took over the um, interpreting technology column in Yoast, such as Toolbox Journals. So we've been doing that for a while now, which is a lot of fun. Uh, we are doing YouTube videos just like we do right now, sometimes live, sometimes pre-produced. Um, of course, you also may know some of our on-demand courses which we've produced. For example, Josh's magnum opus on uh, glossary tools and working with glossary tools, but also about other topics. Um, but something was missing and we really felt that now during the three days of the summit community community that was i think what was missing we tried to do that because uh, in our on-demand courses in our blog posts you, know, you can leave comments of course and we'll answer those comments we try to help people we're also quite active on social media but yeah something was missing i think right josh so we, we needed as i said earlier the glue that holds it all together and we found this tool that we're using for the community at the summit right now and we thought well maybe we can turn that into something um, that that fills the need, that fills the void um, in terms of community. So that's why we are focusing uh, so much on community during the summit as a place for people to just get together, to exchange, uh, to network as well, to do uh, co-working. And the tech clinic and all these sessions, if you've attended them as power pack holders, you'll know how useful they were and how people really liked to get together in real time uh, to network, to work on small projects together, to implement something together, uh, even if everybody had the mic off and the camera off. Uh, and also the tech clinic was actually a, a really fun session for us to do and to prepare, but also for you, because we were able to at least sort out some tech issues and give you some some new ideas, which is something that we really like. So that's the, the beginning. That was the nucleus of everything. And we're trying to um, sort of put that on a solid basis for the future. And that's what the Tech Forward Insiders program is all about. Uh, Josh, um, did I did I did a good, good job of uh, explaining our motivation there? Absolutely. Yeah, that that really sums it up. We were looking for community and we were so pleased to see the community coming together in this summit. And we said, this is a real opportunity to go from here to take this momentum that we've generated over the course of the last three days, three weeks, three months, the whole year actually, and channel it into something new. So we decided to put together the Tech Forward Insiders program. You've already heard about some of the things that are included in it. I'll say this, it's something new, it's experimental. We don't know exactly what form it's going to take. Uh, in fact, we're, we're going to try it out for six months and we think those six months will be a great opportunity for you to come along and help shape this brand new community that we're building. Uh, we've seen tons of enthusiasm from people in the live sessions, people saying, how can we do more networking? This co-working thing, hey, that was cool. I actually got some work done, even in a very short period of time, or I tackled the hardest task on my to-do list. And so we thought, let's, let's pull it all together. Let's try something new. Let's see what it looks like. And let's um, bring the community together to shape this. So that's our, our idea here. There are also a few other special bonuses because we like special bonuses, who doesn't? So people in the insiders community will get exclusive discounts on our courses and products. I saw somebody was saying, hey, will there be merchandise? Maybe if you want, uh, we can we can work to set up a- More merch mugs. <laughs> shop. Uh, yeah, well, here's my mug. We need to find a way to auto, uh, to, to, to facilitate delivery of those. Alex was shipping mugs to all of our wonderful speakers and panelists, but anyways. That was so much fun. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. And um, you'll also, if you're an insider, get to cut straight to the front of the line to be the first to test out our courses, to give us feedback, to shape them into something new. So that's it. And you might be wondering, well, okay, Josh, okay, Alex, how much is this project? Um, and the answer is we wanted to do our best to make it accessible. And we thought a lot about it and we thought, well, 
there's a lot of content in there. There's a monthly uh, deep dive where we explore a piece of technology or a new technique. One of the first ones that we're working on lining up is a session with Interplex, actually, to look behind the scenes at that. Uh, we thought, okay, there are also going to be other ways to interact. There's this community. And we just said, well, let's call it 1999. But we know that it's still something that we're building. It's not there yet. So we wanted to give you an opportunity to uh, be a founding member at a really incredible discount. So until March 3rd, we're just charging $9.99 a month. As we build it out, so we're going to build, for example, a whole library of tech tutorials that hopefully will be searchable, where if you say, okay, I need to know something about Interpret Bank and uh, speech recognition, maybe there's a tutorial on that. Uh, I need to know something about this and that, maybe there's a tutorial on that, but it's not there yet. Obviously, we're going to be adding all of the replays from these deep dives to this. So we thought, when we're starting out, let's keep it simple, um, $9.99, for right now, and that'll be the price if you get it at this point that you can have access to for the next six months. And then afterwards, we will check it out. Um, I do wanna say, we, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll decide what, what direction it will take. I, I do wanna say that the library does not include our courses. Obviously, those are separate products. Instead, this is really a membership, a community, a place to come together with some special tutorials for you based on your questions, just like we did in the tech clinic. Um, let me just show you, if you're interested, what it looks like. We decided that we would just set it up with this special beta pricing monthly, or if you're a super fan, if you believe in what we're doing, if you want to pay the amount that we thought is really what the price will be later on, uh, that option is also available here for super fans. Uh, and then we thought, well, we're going to give it a shot for six months. If you're interested, there are six month options here. Now you can see that there's a discount that was automatically applied. That's because this is the power pack discount. So if you have the power pack, it's free your first month and you'll find that discount coupon in your power pack. There's a link to it in the bonus materials. And we even thought, you know what, let's throw in a discount on the tablet interpreting manual. If you don't have it already and you want to pick it up, we're offering it for just 14 euros here too. So um, what did I miss, Alex? I'm sure I missed something. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. That seemed pretty comprehensive to me. Uh, and we don't want to overwhelm people with all that uh, information. Uh, I think you got the, the main points is the, the big focus on community uh, from here on out. So we'll, we'll still be doing the blog posts, for example, and that kind of stuff. But this is really sort of our new focus on community and just bring you in. And in the best possible sense of the word, you can uh, you can become tech forward guinea pigs. Maybe we should have stuffed animals, uh, tech forward guinea pig or something uh, that we could send out. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll think about the merch store. But um, I would really invite invite you after the session that you uh, take a look at the page, think about it. I mean, you know, there's no rush, but um, think about the advantages that you get. And there was one um, frequently asked question on that page, and you'll see it when you check it out, is that uh, what we're trying is to make it worth your while, literally, because what we're trying is to do, um, uh, what we're trying to do is that with the discounts and the advantages that you get out of the membership program, you basically recoup the money that you invest. So I think it's a really good investment. Think about it and um, think about whether it's the right fit for you. Uh, it's definitely the right fit for us at this point. This is um, the, the next big project that we want to get to. Um, but now we don't want to people we don't want to keep people too long. We want to be mindful of your time and we have a few last minute surprises, a few last minute winners for you. Um, again, um, yeah, maybe Josh, you can just put the link in YouTube once more so people can click that and then we will come to the list of prizes, sponsors, and discounts. Uh, of course, you remember that we had uh, several rounds of bingo during uh, the summit. You could do that individually if you like, but you could also team up with others for the team challenge. And Josh, um, why don't you do us the honors and uh, let people know who wins the different things. And I think we'll start with um, bingo. 
And to give our captioner Norma a bit of a break, she will she can just announce the winners uh, if she likes, and will of course inform everyone so you're not missing out. But it's difficult. There's there's going to be a lot of names. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and as interpreters, uh, we know how hard that can be. Yeah, so we indeed. will try to take it slow. Uh, these are the bingo prizes for day two. We still have a round of bingo open for the last day. One of the things on the bingo card is to attend this live closing call uh, live. So you can check that off and add that and still be in the running for the final round of bingo. But for day two of bingo, our winner of either Judy's The Entrepreneurial Linguist book or Mark's book or our Tech Forward manual is Pia von Essen. Congratulations, Pia. These are some great prizes. You'll have your choice of what's left. I actually have to crunch all the numbers, but you'll definitely get a wonderful prize. The winner of a Tech Forward course, one of our courses coming in at the 69 euro price point is Bettina. Bettina Mester de Paride. I'm sure I did did not say that properly, but Bettina, you have won one of our courses of your choice. Congratulations. Now, another very exciting prize that we have is the Rock Your Retour membership. This is a program that Sophie Llewellyn Smith runs, and it's really fabulous. You can, if you have a retour into English, it's packed with tips. Some of you will have seen the materials that she gives out. And one lucky person has won a one, one has won one free month in this membership. And the winner is Giulia Monteforte. Giulia Monteforte. So congratulations, Julia on that. Thank you, Sophie, for the wonderful prize. And finally, one of the tools that we mentioned, a tool for terminology management is Interplex. And they were really, really generous. They donated five licenses for their iOS version. So the version that runs on an iPad or an iPhone. And the winner of one of those licenses from Bingo is Zahra Claire Bahrani Peacock. So congratulations to you for winning that great prize. Uh, next up, we had the team challenge, right, Alex? Yes, indeed. The yellow team. <laughs> indeed. So thanks, everyone, for playing. And I will now announce the uh, winners. So the prize for the uh, team challenge, for the bingo team challenge, is uh, four tickets to Maha El Medwali's Zoom interpretation training on the 6th of March. That's next week, if I'm not mistaken. So you, that's a prize you can apply straight away. Uh, and I will just read out the winners right now. So we have Charlotte Masuge, Marisol Mandarino, Zaha Claire Barani Peacock, and Tiana Yarkovich. So congratulations to all of you for winning a ticket to the Zoom interpretation course with Maha El Metwali. And um, one, one yeah, little announcement there. Uh, the, all of the teams were incomplete. We had a maximum of three out of four people from any team who had their bingo cards in on time. So the fourth person on that list is somebody who really just did a great job at bingo for one of the other teams. And we thought we would also, that she also deserved to win. So that's how we got to that list of four names, yellow team plus one tag along. All right, next up is our student scholarship winner. This is somebody who has won free access to the Power Pack, a student who is along, and that winner is Theodora Matsaidoni. Congratulations to you, uh, it's great. Now, now we're at the grand prize drawing, right, Alex? Indeed, indeed. Um, and uh, I will tell you, first of all, the, the... Well, because we have several slots, let's say, or several um, prizes sometimes. And the first comes from uh, the wonderful Julia Poga, and it's a social media profile audit. I know from the feedback, both on the community and on social media, that people really, really like Julia's session about social media and the tips that she gave, uh, gave there. So thanks for that. And she has um, given two 
of these social media profile audits. And the uh, just to say that the PowerPack holders, of course, were automatically enrolled for this draw. And here we have the winners of the uh, social media audit. That's Hilda Tejada and Philippe Dunkel. So congratulations to both of you. Next up, we have uh, one coaching session on Kai tools, so computer assisted interpreting tools with Bianca Brandi. And um, the winner here is Dorothee Hofer. Congratulations. Next up, we have another coaching session, this time with uh, Elizabeth Desel, so about technology tools as well. Again, PowerPack holders enrolled automatically. And the winner here is Pavel Schweda. Congratulations to Pavel. Moving right along, we have one subscription. Uh, I think it's a one year subscription for interpreters help. It's a two year um, subscription. Oh, it's a two year. That's right. Actually, pretty incredible <laughs> it's donation. Two years. Yeah. yeah. So this is a 480 euro value. Thanks to interpreters help for providing that to our wonderful audience. And the winner is, I should have prepared a drum roll. The winner is <laughs> Niki Kladura. Congratulations. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. We have another Kai tool on the list because Interpret Bank have thrown in one a license, so one seat for the Interpret Bank software. And the winner is Astrid van der Butten. Uh, congratulations uh, to this winner. And I'll do one more and then I'll hand it back over to Josh. Uh, we have one license for Jeremy. I don't know if you people know that. That's a great search tool for legal terminology. And it's, it's a great tool for people who work for the European institutions um, or with European law, a uh, great search engine. Do check it out. And the winner here is Katja Kroll Taliani. Congratulations. So the people who saw my presentation will have heard about this tool about Jeremy, and you'll also have heard about the next one on the list, which is called Sketch Engine. If you've seen my presentation, you know that I love using Sketch Engine to extract terminology when I get a document at the last minute. It has tons of other features, but this is a great one that interpreters can take advantage of that really helps with preparation. And the Sketch Engine team was kind enough to donate five year-long licenses to their tool. So that means five of you are lucky enough to get to try this out over the course of the next year. Please let me know how it goes. We would love to hear about your experiences, and I'm sure that our sponsors would be thrilled to hear from you about what you think of their tools as well, because they were so generous to donate these things. So. With no further ado, here are the five winners. First, we have Maria Magdalena Fernandez Perez. Congratulations to you. Next up, we have Efrosini Franco. Congratulations, Efrosini. The third winner of a Sketch Engine license is Elke Maya. Congratulations. Fourth up, we have Isabel Olesen. And our final Sketch Engine license goes to Adio Agbosomonde. So congratulations to the five of you. You will, uh, I hope, discover many great things about this tool. The next thing on our list for the grand prize winners is a web around. The web around, just like the one I'm using right now, it's a portable green screen uh, that you can pop on the back of your chair. Some of you may have seen the video about it that Alex and I put the together. We had, video. <laughs> we had fun with that one. Uh, and the winner of the web around is Marticia Palmer. Congratulations to you, Marticia. Next up, we have three licenses from the Interplex team. Now, before I mention the mobile licenses that the Interplex team was offering, but they also have a desktop version with many, many more features. And we have three winners of the desktop version. Thank you very much for this generous donation to the Interplex team. And I know everyone is looking forward to learning more about your tool soon. Here are the three winners of the Interplex licenses. Edwina Mombru, Sheena McDonald, and finally, Rafaela Morosoli. 
So congratulations to the three of you. And last one from me before I turn it over to you, Alex, is the one year premium subscription to lsp.expert. This is a very handy tool for uh, keeping track of your projects, invoicing, and really streamlining your business. I'm sure many of you saw it in the sponsor's corner. Uh, many of these tools, there are actually discounts or special offers in the sponsor's corner, which I'll mention will also be open until March 3rd. So you can check those out until then. Uh, and the winner of the premium subscription to this tool is Helen Folks. Congratulations to you, Helen, and enjoy the prize. I'll now turn it over to you, Alex, for the winner of Naomi's special prize. This is fun to announce because this is about audio gear, which I love. <laughs> so um, in collaboration with uh, DS Interpretation and Interaxio, uh, Naomi has organized a wonderful microphone, the Audio Technica AT2020 USB Plus, um, which um, is 195 euro value. And the proud winner of this microphone is Emanuela Enrico. Congratulations for this. And lastly, these are the last three prizes we have to give away now. Um, first of all, these are all tech forward prizes, so we, we save those for last. Um, first of all, we have a scholarship for the Tech Forward Insiders membership program that we just announced. And the winner here is Grisel Villafagna. Congratulations, Grisel. Yeah, I, then, I just, maybe if sure. I can cut in, Alex, I wanted to say that uh, the criteria for winning these prizes was uh, we were looking for people who were motivated, who were here, who were contributing to the community, who really showed up at this summit. And we were pleased to see just how gung-ho you were, Grisel, uh, and how much you contributed to the different sessions. So congratulations. We look forward to seeing more of that great energy in our brand new Tech Forward Insiders membership. We also had two other people who were very active, right, Alex? Exactly, and we have two more prizes for them. First of all, we have um, our uh, iPads for Interpreters course. Um, so that's another scholarship, if you will. And the winner is Caroline Lorio. Congratulations to Caroline um, for winning this prize. And l the last winner of tonight, actually, is for the prize of uh, the aforementioned Glossaries for Interpreters course. Um, and the winner is Polina Agzigitova. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. So congratulations to you, Polina, as well. Well done for uh, being so active uh, to all three winners uh, during the summit on the community. Right. Um, so what's left to do, Josh? We're, we're almost almost out of time. We've been running for almost an hour, so it's time to wrap, wrap things up. We've had a lot of things here. So we've looked back at the summit. Um, we've talked about the power pack and the advantages it has. We've introduced our brand new Tech Forward Insiders membership program, which we're very excited about. So what's left? If there are any questions, feel free to still post them in the chat or send them to us afterwards. You know where to find us through our website or elsewhere. Um, and of course, we're very, very interested in your feedback on the summit, as I said earlier. We haven't had time to finish the feedback form yet, but that will happen in the next days. And you will get a wrap up email uh, about the summit inviting you to submit your feedback. And actually, I was wrong there earlier because there will be more winners because we have a few prizes left for those of you who take the time to give us feedback and fill in the feedback form. So we have a few more things to raffle off and we'll do that. Um, also, we have a few more hours left for the day three round of bingo, as Josh said earlier, so you can still participate in day three. You still have time to watch the on-demand presentations and live sessions, of course. And well, if you want to find us online, you can go to techforward.com. That's our hub. That's where everything is. Uh, of course, you can find us right here on YouTube as well. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss the upcoming videos. And you can say hi on social media. We're always happy to chat with you. We're on Twitter. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Did I forget anything? I think those were the main platforms and plenty of platforms in any case. We had so much fun. Uh, these have been three, four, 
four very intense days for all of us, um, but it was a lot of fun to put this on for you, for the community. Um, and it, we get the feeling that you enjoyed it. So that's wonderful. And uh, that's it, Josh. Anything else to say to wrap things off? Uh, yeah, things I, I just want to conclude by thanking our sponsors one more time for these incredible uh, prizes that you've donated and for the incredible discounts that you're offering in the sponsors corner. And I especially want to thank all of our speakers and panelists. You were the stars of this summit. Uh, it would not have been such an incredible learning experience without all of you coming together, sharing your knowledge, sharing these cutting edge ideas, uh, which have truly inspired me. And as we can see, have really lit a flame under many of you to, to take this to the next level. So I, 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 it's been a roller coaster ride. It's been truly incredible. And I would like to thank you. And I also want to thank Alex. He doesn't know that I was planning on thanking him, but this was my crazy harebrained idea. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> um, and it um, it was a lot of work and it was tricky to fit in. And um, I want to thank you for all of the support and all of the great uh, energy and enthusiasm. I mean, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of Tech Forward, uh, launching our webinars, moving online, and it has been an incredible year. So I'm very been. pleased about that. I'm glad you talked me into this summit. It was a lot of fun, a lot of work, but definitely so worth it. So thanks everyone for joining us and for going on this wild, wild ride with us. And we hope it can continue for a little bit longer in the Tech Forward Insiders community. Absolutely. And I'm not going to answer Tony's question about the dates for next year's summit. <laughs> nope. We're going to breathe, <laughs> oh, yeah. recover from this one first, and uh, then we'll uh, come back to you more later on. So thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the summit, and we look forward to seeing you for many more Tech Forward events moving forward. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.